before and after, okay? So if we look at these two, the left-hand one was your before, your right-hand yeah. one was after. Name. You can't see grip pressure yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can't sort of see distance from the ball there, but before you're a little bit stretched. Mm -hmm. And again, tiny, a bit too much here, a bit too much there, a bit too tight there. All those little adjustments make it tough to reach down to here, okay? Yeah. And you catch the top of the ball and then you're creating movements to adjust to that. If we look at your backswing before, okay, watch your shadow. Yeah. You haven't gone anywhere and you moved off the golf ball yeah. and you haven't really turned to do that. Your shoulders haven't really rotated, you sort of just swayed off the golf yeah. ball. So you move further from the golf ball. There's not really much of a turn there. Your arms are collapsing there and there's your shoulder turn, okay? Yeah. And you moved off the golf ball. So now you've got to extend your arms, reduce your body back down to the golf ball and move there in a third of a second. Mm -hmm. Now, is... being sporty, you can do yeah. it occasionally. Uh, and if you're on a driving range, in shots over and over and over again, you'll probably figure out where the ball is. Yeah. And then so you have about 10 or 15 shots. Hey, boys, I've got it now. This is easy peasy. Yeah. Ooh, look at me. Then, and then you're on a golf course and you've got to change clubs and there's different yeah. elevations and all this kind of stuff. All these variables now mm -hmm. are going to be tough to kind of replicate. Okay, so that was before. Oh, hang on. Back to there. This is now after. Okay, so we're going to rotate. Look at your shadow. Look at your shoulder turn. The club goes a bit further than you want to, far, yeah. but again, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look where you're at. <laughs> yeah. yeah, You're over the ball, you're where you want to be. Now, again, it does go a little bit further, as I said, but that's just you getting in time, you'll push those arms further away. You've had to create or complete a backswing yeah, because your body was... Yeah, massively, yeah. yeah. You had to try and complete a backswing because mm. before you didn't have a backswing, so your arms became the substitute. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the sub doesn't come on anymore now. The body's doing the work for you, so the subs can just stay on the bench, yeah? yeah. Don't need to bend the arms to create that movement, okay? In time, if that, if that left arm here was just kind of extended up there, not locking straight, yeah, but just but sort of pushing like, away, yeah. then your club would be up there, yeah? yeah? Which would give you a much more width in the swing and yeah. a much more powerful movement. Now, as you come back to the golf ball, because there's no need to move out of the way, you can come back, head stays in the same spot, yeah. shadow's in the same. Whereas this one here now, you've got to then sort of drop your head on. down, move your shadow left, and in this one, you actually got reasonable-ish movement, but then it wasn't much of a swing through the golf ball compared yeah. to this one where you went, okay, whack it. <laughs> and there's your <laughs> yeah, follow through. So in yeah. terms of the actual two, three positions, mm. set up obviously in backswing, that's kind of where you were, that's where you are. Not a lot of difference. We can't see the pressure, but, obviously. We can't yeah. see strength, but you can feel that yourself. So you got to that position there. There's your backswing. There's your backswing. That yeah. is a backswing. That's a kind of lean sway pick. Yeah. Okay. That's not much of a movement. It's coming That's a follow through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, again, path into the golf ball is something that we have to work on and practice. Again, mm -hmm. I think just first of all, is find the ground, get the club hitting yeah. the ground, striking the ground, working this position. So we sort of set to the golf ball, you work the club up yeah. as you turn into that right heel. One thing you were doing when you were turning, you were kind of doing this. Was it on your tippy toes, yeah? Yeah. So we turn into that right mm -hmm. side. Again, practicing with that club across your shoulder, sort of sticking way out instead of your left shoulder here. Yeah. Because you turn, it's that way. Another one we do a lot of times with the aeroplane drill. Mm -hmm. Golfing posture, uh, and then we sort of turn, point your arms down here, and then point your arms back to the golf ball. What yeah. a lot of people do, they, they do this. But then sort of... Is it they're trying, almost like they're trying to touch their toes that way. Yeah. They'll do that from, this. I'm going to be here, there, there. So it's like I'm doing the same motion if I'm up here vertical, okay? If my posture is vertical, my arms are horizontal, I'm just like a helicopter, yeah? yeah? I'm now going to tip forward and go on an angle that my body's there. It's not kind of going here and then tipping down and yeah. then do like a ton of touch your toes like yeah, in a warm-up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? You're yeah. actually keeping everything exactly the same and going boom, boom, that way, yeah? So your yeah. arms are moving around your body. Yeah. So we're keeping that posture in position here so we're turning and rotating there so if your arms from here kind of extended out here and here and you rotated there your arms would be down there and up there facing down towards the golf ball yeah. where before if we extended your arms out from this backswing position your arms are over here somewhere over there somewhere and you probably yeah. leveled off a little bit yeah yeah so you're getting yeah. used to how that body works and turns in the backswing like i say you can probably just see there your right heel oh my, yeah so lift off the ground up. a little bit yeah so trying to keep that on the ground as we rotate back, okay? As okay. if you get too much on your tippy toes, where's your weight going to go? Over the top of it then, Exactly, yeah. you got it in one minute, okay? So yeah, turn better in the backswing, yeah. but you only do that from a better posture, better setup, and better yeah, kind of coil into that yeah. right side. But I practice that without even in the golf ball. Just yeah. get used to how that body works. Just first mm -hmm. move the body, then get your arms working up as high as they can, because they don't need to start completing the backswing anymore, because yeah. right? your body's doing the work for it, yeah? Yeah, okay. Cool. And just you'll find the ground a lot more easily down here, rather than having to try and Get, drop yeah. your head and do all these things that you were trying oh, to do okay. before so yeah make sense yeah
Good man. Good stuff. Okay.